Hey guys, Dabu7. I've got an eye opener here and more or less a red alert. This is for anyone that's concerned about everything that's going on and anyone that comes to YouTube to get information and to gain knowledge. We have a lot of uh, protests, so to speak, coming up. March against Monsanto. You have the March on DC that's happening. Um, you're going to have other activities happening all across the globe. You have uh, the Bilderberg meeting happening in the UK. And all this is going to gain a lot of media attention and a lot of people are going to be amassing especially for the march against Monsanto with that said the government is now ordering YouTube to ban certain videos showing people protesting and simply just displaying the freedom of asserting their rights they are also ordering uh, YouTube to delete search terms by government mandate so if you're popping in, you know, false flag terror event, uh, the next one, you're typing in what is the next false flag terror event or where is it likely to happen? Uh, if you're typing that in, trying to search, you know, and get information, gain knowledge, uh, chances are they're cutting down those words, them search terms. And even if I go and make this video and I go to the tag field and I put all them words in the tag field, um, they're going to surely not put me at the top. That's why I urge most, most anybody that hears this to share these videos the best you can and get the word out that they are trying to censor us big time. Not only through YouTube, but through other outlets. But here, YouTube, being a product of Google, is clamping down strong. And with that said, when they went looking deeper into this and they click through they learned that YouTube in a statement says that YouTube occasionally receives requests from governments around the world to remove content from our site and as a result YouTube may block specific content in order to comply with local laws in certain countries so when someone approached me that had an account out of this country that also had an account in the United States they said that when they were out of the United States and in the other country and just so happened to get on their other account in the other country that they could not watch my videos that bothers me because I'm not showing people in mass doing anything I'm just reporting truth news and that tells me they're blocking me not to mention um, all kinds of people are telling me they're not getting my subscription they're not getting me in their subscription they can't subscribe to me they hit the subscribe button and they cannot subscribe to me uh, comments removed uh, comments flagged there could be 20 comments in a video before I even get to watch it as I'm uploading it and doing all that stuff before I even get to it and get to sit there and watch it there'd be 20 comments you know and five of them flagged and spammed like instantly it's almost like I have paid trolls watching my page now with that said um, these shills out here are paid to do this uh, they come out here, they put out this information, they come out to attack. They come into a video and they will make a comment swaying the opinion of people into another direction or try to discredit the video. That's how the shills work. But now, they're just banning you. They don't have to pay no shills, they don't have to do nothing. They're just blocking your video from the rest of the world. And I thought the whole world was watching my YouTube videos. And when I go into my thing, it shows like Canada... United States and maybe a, a few other places and I'm like what the heck I go into my settings and I, I I've got worldwide hooked up I've went in and selected to go to every single country to be an outlet and it's only putting me out there to certain people to certain countries and it's ridiculous and they want to be able to come come in and have, have an internet kill switch for they say in case of war but I'm telling you, you have the Bilderberg meeting that's coming up, the march on D.C. You have this huge march against Monsanto that's going to be in 36 countries, folks. 36 countries. I cannot stress to you enough how big this movement is. It's gained so much steam. It is gaining, it is gaining steam right now as I speak um, because it is truth. It is consciousness of people waking up and standing for their rights, their freedom, their life, their liberty, and standing against the beast. This is the front line with the people 
um, and it does make a difference. But it also puts itself out there as being highly volatile to an attack by this terror regime known as the New World Order, which this is one of their biggest corporations, Monsanto. And this is exactly what they want to do. They want to depopulate the planet, whether through vaccines, through your food, genetically modified and altered products. Um, you're not getting the nutrients out of your food, out of your wheat, out of your bananas, any of it that's crossbred with uh, frog genes and human tissue and rice, uh, horse meat and their burgers. And this is all across the globe, not just the United States. So when I say there's a potential for something huge to happen, I'm telling you the obvious here, folks. You're going to have a lot of people gathering in a lot of cities around the world in 36 different countries. And you don't think that these evil, evil people that are pulling off these false flag events are not going to see this as a prime opportunity to do so? It would be so easy to mingle into the crowd and to do anything at any one of these events at any part of the globe. And I'm just saying, open your eyes and be aware. Because they don't want us doing this. And if they did pull an attack off, a horrifying attack off at, a Monsanto, at this Monsanto event, it would try to deter the people from wanting to gather out in public anymore. You see? So all eyes on this Monsanto, the 25th, I myself will be trying to take my camera down to the uh, downtown Cincinnati Fountain Square to get footage of that event. And I'll be covering my city. For those of you out there that's, that gets uh, you know, footage from your local spot, whatever city you may be in, uh, if you want to send it my way, I plan to put together a collage of a video of all the different cities uh, out there that had this event take place and get the footage from each and every place and hopefully nothing happens and this goes down peacefully the people make a point and hopefully something comes of this because like I stated before the people can gather in the street and yell and chant all they want with a million different signs but at the end of the day if nothing changes legislation doesn't change or someone from Monsanto does not come out and publicly speak to you to try to resolve this problem, uh, nothing's going to happen. But one thing is going to happen, and they cannot stop it, and that is awareness. And they're trying to stop it, and how they're trying to stop it is censoring these videos on YouTube. So when this whole event goes down, remember Dabu7. I'm going to have all kinds of coverage of these events. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Dabu777. Because you never know how long this channel is going to be around. I want to get as many people as I can. Only a couple thousand so far has gone over and subscribed over there. I'd like to see all my subscribers go over and subscribe to that page. Because if anything happens here, um, it may be a month or two before you find me again or realize that my channel has gone. Especially when people are not getting me in their subscriptions. With that said... The comment section on the March Against DC videos was removed because of death threats that were put out. I am suspecting that this video here will not get a lot of views for the simple fact that they will bog it down. They will attack it. And I'm hoping that people out there share this information and get it out. I also want you to realize that I am always attacked day in and day out by shills, constantly, trolls that attack me. And here's one in a prime example of what is happening to me. When you come to a video of mine that I put out and it, it's, you know, a good video, maybe a heartfelt video of something great, and you wonder, how can anyone be thumbing this down? And you see that it's great information and somebody's attacked, there's 20, 30 thumbs down. It's because these people are put out here in teams and in packs that have multiple accounts to come to you and thumb you down. And when they don't get their way, they slip up. When I had to put these messages on approve because of all the death threats, I come in and, it, well, it pissed, pissed them off. So they opened their mouth 
and they gave themselves away. Spike Mulligan, which has been blocked now, says, that's why I always thumbs down and never subscribe to your videos from all 20 of my YouTube nicks. So this guy's got 20 different YouTube channels and never subscribes to me, and com but comes to me and thumbs me down always, every video. So as you guys can see, I'm under constant attack here. And I just wanted to let you guys know uh, that's what's going on with me. As always, I'll leave links. You guys stay safe. Keep your eyes open. Stay sharp. And until next time, this has been Dabu7 with some underground world news.